right now that the dance marathon is over, what is the office doing to wrap things up and prepare for next year? So right now, everyone from Dance Marathon is working on putting files together for the people who will be filling our chairs next year. They're called legacy documents, and um, it's just kind of a guideline for the chairs next year to follow to help them along and figure out what worked, what didn't, some like little tips and stuff like that. Um, we're trying to think about what went wrong this year and how we can fix that and always how we can expand the Dance Marathon community and make it bigger and better every year. Did anything go wrong this year? We had some minor hiccups, which always happens with a large event. Um, nothing too substantial. We did have someone get injured with an injury that was previous, not related to Dance Marathon, but it got worse at Dance Marathon, so she had to get evacuated in an ambulance. But there's things like that which you can't prevent, but then there's also making entertainment smoother and just making everything more cohesive and flow more easily. Okay, um, given the fact that you guys raised way over what you planned, um, how does that feel? Um, it feels amazing because I knew we could do it, but it's always different to it's different between thinking, yeah, we can do this, but then having it actually happen is just an amazing feeling, and it makes everything worth it, all the late nights, the no sleep, getting sick uh, because you're not sleeping, and just the long hours. Everything is totally worth it, and it gives you that drive to do steering again and dance marathon, and just, it reestablishes your passion. Um... Do you have a set target in mind for next year, and how are you going to achieve that? We're discussing our goal for next year. That's um, something that the overall chair usually decides on after looking at statistics, but Dance Marathon usually tries, tries to increase 20% each year. So we did that this year, but we did 42% 40 increase. So we're always trying to increase by at least 20%, and we usually do more than 20%. But if our goal was 50000 this year, and we've actually already reached 60000 more than 60000 we'll probably have a goal of 60000 next year, maybe higher. So. Yeah, okay. Um, how has the Dance Marathon affected our community? It's a really big unifying event on Seattle U campus. Uh, we've had a lot of students identify it as a tradition which is really great for us because we want to become a core part of Seattle University's academic year. You know, we want people to say, oh, Dance Marathon, that's February. I'm going to go to that. I have to do it. It's so fun. Um, and then also reaching out to our greater Seattle community. I mean, this year we had the mayor come, so that was really awesome. And extending to the whole Seattle, not just Seattle Children's, but trying to get everyone involved and get more outside visitors so that's what we're doing with that okay um how much work in total did you put into this i kind of wish i had kept track but you lose you lose track at some point we had a two-hour meeting every week with the whole group then we had hour-long um internal external meetings and then we had one-on-ones with our exec member and then office hours, which were about five hours a week, and then outside work. I'd probably say 10 hours a week. Um, and then winter quarter, for me personally, was absolutely insane because my job is very heavy. As entertainment, it all comes down to winter quarter, you know, finalizing, getting the groups there, and then doing all the music and making sure everything's set up. So countless hours, and... I probably wouldn't want to see the number of how long I spent on it, but I also would, but I, I can't measure it, but about 10 hours a week. Okay. Um, what piece of advice would you give to future organizers, those who want to help organize this event? Definitely do group bonding. Um, we did that for steering in fall quarter, and it was really great. Everyone opened up, and even though some of us were friends before, it made everyone's friendship and relationship stronger. So we had a very cohesive steering group this year. We were all really supportive and understanding and helpful. So 
I know that during dance marathon, I got a little tired around hour 10 and frustrated because doing the entertainment was very challenging and exhausting, but I had a lot of people come up and help me and, you know, take over for a few minutes while I grabbed some dinner or went to the bathroom or just hung out and chilled for a second. But, um, just focusing on the relationships because it's so much better when everyone in the group is supportive because it's, you can and you can tell when a executive or like an organizing board is supportive of each other because there's no fighting between people everyone co- talks very calmly during like a little crisis and everything is just so much more smooth and cohesive um given the fact that the event was a phenomenal success your personal thoughts um i wish i could do steering next year but I can't because I'm going abroad. Actually, at our meeting last night, I was trying so hard to find a way to be on steering, even though I won't be here. Um, But it was definitely, so far, the highlight of my college experience, and I'm definitely going to be a morale captain last year, next year, and be on steering senior year, and it just felt really amazing to accomplish something so huge. And I have a lot of people coming up to me on campus and saying thank you, and that really means a lot. And it's just kind of, it's nice to be appreciated, and it's also nice to see that I did something that's very helpful to people. It's it's a real, like, you can see real results from it. So. We're good. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.